What's up, gamers? It's D Werewolf Gaming here, back with another Division 2 reel. Today, guys, I will be showcasing the new Iron Long LMG. This LMG overall, guys, I, I think it's pretty amazing. I like it. I usually don't like a lot of the LMGs in this game, but this gun has a lot of potential. It does decent damage, as you can see in this video right here. I'm going to be hitting up to over a million on the headshots in this particular gun. So overall, I think this is a pretty good gun, and uh, the build I'm using is why I can get up to so much damage, but, you know, this gun, you can go all kind of ways, status effect, all damage, overall, you know, and that new chest piece as well, that new exotic chest piece, the collector, I think, uh, you know, using this and pairing it with that, you know, you can keep these uh, fire on these guys the entire time. Anyway, I'm going to show you a little bit of gameplay, guys, and then we'll go with the build at the end. All right. Alright guys, that's it for the gameplay, a little bit of demonstration of using the iron long. Alright, so let's go over the build breakdown. Alright, this gun uh, overall is pretty good, but what it reads is arson is made up is a made up crime. Some people deserve to burn the arsonist. Alright, total base damage 116.2k, 920 RPM. That's because of the arm the gear I got on. Alright, the core attributes I have on it is 15% LMG damage, 12% damage to target out of cover, and the attribute is headshot damage. I need to re-roll and get something different, but so far this headshot damage was working pretty good. Alright, the talent is called Ardent, and basically shooting heats up the weapon, filling up the meter. The meter is equivalent to 50% of the weapon's standard magazine size. When the meter is full, 
The round shot from this weapon ignite the enemies. When not shooting, it depletes over time. Reload, reloading or swapping to something different fully de depletes the mag. The only problem I have with this gun so far is the magazine. I do wish it was a little bit bigger. And I, I wish this gun actually worked more like the um the St. Elsmo's. But, alright, for the set, secondary guys, I was using the rock and roll shotgun. Just mainly so I can build up those stacks when those enemies get close. And I like having the shotgun, you know, so that way when they come up on me. I got it fully maxed out with 15% shotgun damage, 12% damage to armor, and 10% damage to target out of cover. The talent on this particular gun comes with perfectly extra, which gives you plus 50% magazine capacity. And the mods I have on it is critical hit damage and critical hit chance. All right, for my mask, guys, I was wearing a Coyote's mask. Many of you probably seen many videos with this being used right now for the new incursion. But this mask is very, pretty good. It gives a lot of benefits when you're playing by yourself or in groups. It reads, live through this bullet, I'll live through yours. 15% weapon damage. I got a 6% critical hit chance, 12% critical hit chance, and another uh, damage, I mean, and another 12% critical hit damage mod. And basically, you get all kind of perks, uh, benefits towards your critical hit chance and critical hit damage based on the distance you are from the enemy. And the talent on is called Pack Inst Instincts. For the chest piece, guys, I was wearing the Group of Sombra for that 15% critical hit damage bonus. And it comes with 15% weapon damage, 12% critical hit damage, another 6% critical hit chance, and then I got 11.7 critical hit damage. All right, the talent on is Abilerate. And basically what it does is critical hits increase total weapon damage by 1%. For up to five seconds, and this stacks up to 25 times. I got the holster as well, Strikers holster. And only it has 15% weapon damage and a 6% critical hit chance mod. All right, I got the knee pads as well, guys. And basically, most of you already know how the striker set works. That's why I didn't really go over all those, what it does. But you know, you get increased weapon handling, increased weapon fire rate, uh, and then you get just overall, as long as you keep firing, you get boosted damage. For the backpack, guys, and when the Strikers backpack as well. And basically, it increases the whole the talent, the risk management talent, increases total weapon damage gain per stack of the striker gun from 0.65 to 1%. All right, for your side on guys, this is where you use whatever side on you prefer. And for the my skills, I was using the reviver hide. I am playing on heroic with two directors activated at this, at this given moment, so you know I won't be able to survive. And for my other skill I was using the striker drone I meant. Alright guys, so let's take a look at my overall weapon damage and armor. I do have a 40% critical hit chance with 150.3% critical hit damage. I also have headshot damage of 115%. Alright, the armor is the biggest problem you're gonna have with this particular build, guys. I only have a 913k armor on, so you are very squishy. So you want to make sure you're in cover when you're using a high damage build like this. Um, and I do got a little bit of armor back on killer, 9 1302. A little bit of health regen and 1666. Alright, class guys, and for the class, I was definitely running the gunner class. You get 10% armor back on kill. Uh, overall, this class is good, especially with the gunner uh, class with the LMG uh, bonus. Make sure you got the right uh, element equipped to get that 15% increased LMG damage and shotgun damage. All right, guys, I will be trying this build with, with uh, many other different types of setups. This is just the one I started off with because I was already running those particular gear pieces at the time. I just had switched it out for the St. Elves rolls, and it worked pretty good. So uh, overall, I think it's pretty good. I right, hope you like the video. If you do, like, share, and subscribe. Thanks, D-Werewolf out.